I'm intrigued with these individuals who explain how power works in America. And, you know, lawyers are very key to answering that question. <laughs> they play a major role. Um, but yes, I think people that have been involved in, in powerful decision-making roles in Washington and Wall Street, uh, they inevitably end up making some errors and mistake, mistaken judgments. And so, yes, Bundy, I thought, was a fascinating figure because he, here he was a liberal, a Harvard, former Harvard dean, national security advisor to Kennedy and Johnson, a very smart guy. But he got us into Vietnam. He was one of the major architects. And so I wanted to figure out why, what happened there. And likewise, McCloy, uh, you know, he was a symbol of the American foreign policy establishment. But then, as you mentioned, he was cl closely associated with and defended the internment of the Japanese Americans during World War II. Uh, and he was the guy who refused to, to bomb, bomb Auschwitz in 1944. Uh, and, you know, he, he was associated with all sorts of other controversial decisions. So uh, it was fun writing about these men. Likewise, Oppenheimer is, uh, you know, endlessly mysterious. Uh, he's very complicated. You know, he, in the 1920s and 30s, he's on the cusp of quantum physics, but he's never administered more than a half dozen graduate students at Berkeley. And then he's selected to become the scientific director of this secret city in the middle of the desert of New Mexico and- Los Alamos. Los Alamos. The Manhattan and, Project. And he's, going to build this bomb and direct the project with 6,000 people, engineers and physicists and Nobel Prize winners. Um, and he succeeds at doing it. 